Greetings wonderful people, my name is Savan and today we're going to talk about sprite masks. In Unity, a mask is basically just a 2D frame which has three primary uses. It can show all the parts of your pictures that overlap this frame while hiding everything else, it can hide everything that doesn't overlap it, and of course it can have no effect on your images at all. By the end of this video you will be able to use Unity to create functionality currently shown on the screen. And if that's what you are trying to achieve, then let's jump right into this tutorial. I imported the sprites into our project and made empty objects for them. Inside of these empty parents I added child objects called sprite and attached sprite render components to them. I put the magnifier's pivot point approximately in the center of its glass. Thanks to this pivot, the magnifier will follow mouse cursor in a more interesting way. Moreover, it will be much easier to put our mask in the correct place. To prove this, let's add another object to the magnifier. Add a sprite mask component to it and insert the sprite you want to act as a mask in the appropriate field. You'll now see the mask's orange outlines in the scene view. Since we made it a separate child object, you can easily tweak the mask to your liking. For instance, you can change its position relative to other children and if you need to rescale it, just change the size of the object which is holding the mask. Now let's make our magnifier follow the cursor's position. Make a new script and attach it to the parent's game object. The code here is very simple and if you need the source files, you will find them on the GitHub page linked in the description to this video. If we test the game at this point, you will see that I can just move the magnifier and neither the coin nor the background is affected by the mask just yet. Now let me turn on our coin and magnifier into prefabs by dragging them into the assets folder. I will duplicate the instance of a coin many times to make our scene look like a real game. Simply speaking, if we now make any changes to the prefab we created, they will be applied to all of these duplicates and we won't have to adjust every single one of them manually. Finally, we can get to the magic of sprite masks. Open the coin prefab by pressing the open button or double clicking it in the assets folder. Select the sprite renderer and change the mask interaction mode to visible inside mask. Save the changes and you'll immediately see that only the coin parts that overlap our mask are visible in the game. In order to spark your imagination, let's also add a hidden coin to our game. This time we'll open the coin prefab and set mask interaction to none. Every coin in the game should be visible right now. Let's drag the coin prefab into the hierarchy and press unpack prefab completely to get rid of the prefab connection. Add a new object with a sprite renderer and place our new dark coin into it. Make this coin visible inside mask, don't forget to turn it into a new prefab and voila, we now have secret coins in the game. Finally, just for demonstration purposes, let's select visible outside mask mode for secret coins. Now the magnifier's glass makes the secret side of a coin invisible. Meanwhile, if you'd like to chat about game development in a friendly atmosphere, Join our new Discord server, you'll find the invitation in the description to this video. And if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming tutorials, please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.